Go for auto sequence. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Columbia's four onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20. T minus 20 seconds. 15. T minus 15. 12. 10. 9. 8. We have a go for main engine start. 4. 3. 2. 1. 0. And liftoff of the Space Shuttle Columbia and the first extended duration mission, a stepping stone to space station freedom. Roll program, Houston. Roger, roll, Columbia. Houston now controlling. Columbia's rolled to the proper upside down position, putting the crew with heads down to see the horizon and putting Columbia on course for its planned orbit. Three engines on board Columbia now throttling back to two-thirds throttle as Columbia prepares to pass through the area of maximum air pressure. Columbia's speed now 1,000 miles an hour. Columbia is two miles east of the launch pad, altitude of 4.8 miles and in a steep climb. Three engines on Columbia, now back at full throttle. Columbia, Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. One and a half minutes since launch. Columbia, eight miles from Kennedy Space Center, altitude 18 miles. Columbia's speed now 1,800 miles an hour. Columbia, Houston, UHF only comm check. How do you read? Loud and clear, Sid. And we have you loud and clear. Flight controller is now standing by for burnout and jettison. UHF only comm check. How do you read? The booster officer confirms a good separation and jettison of the solid rocket boosters. On light slope, on center line, winds 250 at 6. Commander Dick Richards now bringing Columbia in on final approach. One minute from touchdown, range now four miles. Gears down and locked. Main gear touchdown of Columbia. Nose gear touchdown. Drag chute deploy aboard Columbia. Columbia rolling out on runway 33 at the Edwards Air Force Base. First landing of Columbia at this facility after a 5,700,000 mile journey.